Hi guys, it's Jason here from Lowen Roads. Exciting video today. We've got a brand new 2024 model Swift Escape 694 that's just arrived. This is a four berth, four travel, luxury high spec motorhome. We're going to do a little bit of a walk around tour today, show you outside, show you inside, show you some of the features. So stick around to find out what it's about. If you do like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and share to all your friends. It is available for sale. For full details, go to the description below. On there, you'll find our website, information about the motorhome, information about us and everything like that. So a quick introduction to the actual Swift model itself. This is a 694, which is a four berth, four travel seats with an island bed at the back. Now, within the Swift hierarchy of motorhomes, the Escape is second only to the Contiki. This is on the higher end of, of, of the motorhomes with specification, with what's on there, with build and features. It's based on the Fiat Ducato. It's a 2.2 litre, 140 brake horsepower manual that we're looking at today. You can have this with an automatic upgrade, which will put it on the nine speed box, which is actually really nice but the six speed manual is also quite nice as well. On here, on your front, you've got your seven inch HD touchscreen entertainment system. On there, you can connect your phone via Apple CarPlay and you'll get your maps, your sat nav, everything like that. You can also connect your phone via Bluetooth for phone calls and streaming music. You've got aircon just here and you've also got cruise control as standard. Regards of privacy blinds, you've got some on the front. This will slide up and similar sort of system actually on the side doors. That will give you privacy on the front. You've got a reverse camera on here. So vehicle wise, it's all quite specced up. You've got dual captain swivel seats. What I mean by that is these two front chairs turn around and face into the rear of the motorhome. Let me give you a little bit of a look at that. And what a lounge area it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got this nice open effect feel to it with your two benches, one on each side and the table in the center. Styling wise, you've got this nice uh, cream color going round which cut off with your white gloss storage units and interiors going round. They call this the Calypso furniture scheming and then you've got your San, San Guillaume L effect finishing with your woods. Now let's take a second to actually speak about the lounge. So it's got four traveling seats. What do I mean by that? So in the front of course driver, passenger, they face the front you're driving down the road. Where do the other two people fit? Well underneath here you've got two Agouti pop-up chairs now we are going to do a separate video, I will leave a link in the description for that, showing you how the pop-up chairs work. But in essence, you take these cushions off and underneath there is a pop-up chair, which with a handle just folds back, facing forward. So you've got one seat there and one seat there. That's actually quite the same on, well, most Swift models now. So it will travel for people and sleep for people. Sleeping wise, of course, we've got the island bed at the back. To sleep somebody in the front, this table, will electronically drop just by pressing the button up here. You'll see that's going down a little bit now. In essence, drop the table down a little bit further, line it up, line it up with these bases, fold the cushions into the center, and you've got a nice big double bed at the front. The other sleeping arrangement, of course, we're gonna to jump to the back, is the fixed island bed on the back of the motorhome. Now this really does give quite a glamorous feel to the motorhome. You've got the nice cupboard shaped, curved cupboards and wardrobes going around the side. You've got that nice two-tone headboard. You've got this island bed, which is, which is really cool. You can access that from both sides. It's of course a duvalet pocket sprung mattress. It's really nice in here. 
You can pop a TV in the bedroom, should you wish. And all you do is in the left-hand corner over there, pop a TV on a bracket on the wall and plug it in just like so. Now you do, you do have privacy doors, which are just these sliding shutters here. And how they work is up the top, pop the catch down on both sides, like so. Slide that into the middle and you're getting privacy from the bedroom, from the bathroom. Check that out, just like so. Storage space, you've got some shelving units just down the sides. You've got little ledges that are actually up the top of the corner up here, where you have your light switches and plug-in points for phones and everything like that. Of course, above the bed, you've got the two storage units and then wardrobe space, hanging rails, belong at the side of each bed and up the top you'll see your rails. So you've got one on each side. Now, moving on to the bathroom a little bit, you've got this really nice separate toilet and shower scenario going on. So in the center of the motorhome, that's your toilet, sink and wash area, which is really quite nice. You've cut it with the LED lights up at the top. It's looking quite cool. And then behind the door to the left here, you've got this shower, which is absolutely gorgeous. Finished with the Crema, Crema Bianca marble effect. It cuts it really nice. It goes in line with this luxury high spec feel of the motorhome. When you're walking around, everything feels rich. Everything feels bright and warm and comfortable. It's a lovely motorhome. In the kitchen, you are fully equipped in here. Starting off at the top with your Dometic flat bag microwave, moving down to your Thetford Triple X Plus oven grill combination. And then on the top, you've got your three gas points and electric hot plates. You've got your sink area just here with extendable worktop, just there. And then opposing is the full length Dometic freezer and fridge. Now with the 2024 model, you actually got the addition of Aldi heating in here. This, is, this suits the vehicle. The Aldi heating is a little bit more of a consistent heating system. It's a wet central heating system radiated rather than your Truma or your whale blown air system. Your control panel has now been streamlined to fit all within this nice little square touchscreen unit. Very simple and straightforward with your lighting, your powers, your water and etc. Straightforward and absolutely easy to use. In the lounge area, if you wanted a TV, you would just stick it up in the corner up there. So when you're sat in here, hanging out, I think what a lot of people are gonna do, turn the seats around, put the, put the feet up on the cushions, and voila, your TV's at the back. So on the inside, this has got an awful lot going for it. Now we'll go outside and have a little bit of a walk around as well and talk about that. Now size of the vehicle. Of course, it's sometimes it can be tricky to get that over in the video. So let me throw some stats at you. Lengthwise, this vehicle is 7.84 meters long. So it's under eight meters, but it's still on the, on the bigger side of things. Weight wise, it's 3,700 kg, 3.7 ton. So this is a C1 motorhome. Payload wise, you've got 505 kg. And most of that payload is gonna be fitted in the rear garage. Now, some of the keen eye among you might have noticed that that fixed island bed sent raised, it sent a bit tall. This is exactly why. In the garage here, the bed you'll see is just that underneath it there. This is a big size garage. The bed is lifted, giving you more space in the back. You've got your tie down straps in here. You've got your radiated system going along the back. So whatever you've got in here are heated. You've got your plug-in points for your electric, a couple of dedicated USB ports, some lighting, some shelves and netting like that. 
and you've got dual access on here. What I mean is, is you've got a door on both sides and they're great sized doors. So whatever you're fitting in there, you can actually fit, get in there comfortably. On the rear of the motorhome, you've got your reverse camera. You've got these two bars, which means it's bike ready, bike rack ready. You'd pop your bike rack just on the back, should you wish. On the top of the motorhome, you've got a 120 watt solar panel, all powered into the leisure battery, all ready and good to go. Externally, you've got a shower point, a barbecue point, good and ready to plug in, dedicated LPG gas bottle container, so you'd have your exchangeable LPG gas bottles on here, and then you've just got your points for your electric and your water to plug into. Of course, you've got your Swift decals going through. The color, I think Fiat called this the iron gray metallic. You've got your black and silver alloy wheels, all good to go. This is a 2024 model, and this is how it comes. It's fully specced up, it's good to go. Of course, you can have the automatic upgrade, should you wish. You can put a bike rack on there, maybe self-leveling and whatnot. But really, there's not a lot you can put on this as a vehicle, as a base. That's what's attractive about the Escape. It comes with more or less everything that you need, you know, good to go. It would come with the full Swift 10 years warranty. For more information about that, of course, go to all the link in the descriptions below. But there we have it, guys. What do you think to the motorhome? Feel free to let us know. Again, leave a comment what you think and what you want to see more of. Thank you for watching. It's been one of the longer videos that we've done today. Hopefully, it's given you a good look around. It is available for view. If you want to come down and check it out, we'd love you to. Down in Stoke-on-Trent, England. As always, thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon.